Hi guys, welcome again to Visual Basic.net uh, tutorials. Today's tutorial is a continuation to programming principles, and we are going to speak about inserting values to arrays. Okay, in the last two tutorials, we spoke about how to read information into an array, display that information, and also searching the array. Today, we are gonna speak about inserting values and see how to do it. Uh, this is an important operation, especially if you want to do some kind of sorting or uh, any any other uh, kind of operation. So uh, it's very simple. Uh, let's dig into it. So uh, let's assume that you have this kind of array. Okay, it has these elements, and you want to uh, insert a number of uh, sorry insert let's say a single value. And the, uh, the value here is 9, and you want to insert that after number 7. Okay, so the things that uh, the problem is there is no room for number 9 uh, in, in order to get inserted. So, what do you have to do? Well, actually, you, you need to create some space. So, you are going to shift 2 a little bit, you are going to shift 3 a little bit, you are going to shift 4 a little bit, and you are going to shift 2. A little bit and this usually would uh, create the room for number nine and then you will place nine into the array okay so this is the logical interpretation of that uh, of what you need to do but uh, in actuality uh, well you are gonna do something similar to that in your program uh, all uh, okay and uh, we are gonna see how it works so in this case, first of all, arrays have always fixed size. Okay, you can cannot change the number of elements. So if you want to insert an element into your array, this means you are increasing its size. And uh, I guess we spoke before uh, what happens when you don't uh, when you know that your array needs more elements in the future. So what you do is assign an array bigger than what you are going to use and uh, you keep track of how many elements you have used. So in this case we have this array, okay, it's the same array but there is a difference. We have two cells in that that we didn't use. So if this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this array has nine elements, we are using only seven of them okay and the last two elements are ignored so you can think of them as empty cells okay or empty items and uh, actually the array is never empty each cell must have a value but it's how you interpret it so basically uh, we are uh, uh, it since this will always have value I'm gonna put a big zero on both of them to indicate that these are the values in the empty locations. Now, let's go back to our idea. We need to do a shift uh, for uh, for the values. We need to shift two to the right, one place. So, uh, in this case, uh, we are going to move two into the first empty cell to the right, and uh, the blue arrow indicates that the operation was not executed yet so what you want to do is move a of 7 into the cell a of 8 and if you do that the empty location is going to be shifted to the left so now this cell is actually empty okay although it has a value but the way we think about it is that since we move 2 to the right, this cell is now empty. Now, same thing will go to the next one. So we want now to shift the 3 to the right, because it ha uh, there is an empty space to the, to the right of it. So again, uh, this is before the shift operation. After the shift operation, it's going to be like this. Okay? Same thing goes for 4. As you can see from these operations, what are we doing is that, uh, well, actually here there's a mistake, the, the, uh, the colored square should be here. This one should be format and, uh, yeah, so, 
Yep. Where are the coloring tools? Okay, so basically this one is going to be the empty one after the execution. Sorry about that. I should have checked this. Anyway, so let's go back to the presentation. And sorry. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I think I can go and navigate right away to... I think it was slide 7. Well, anyway. So if you have a look, you'll find that we are shifting the empty space until it reaches this location where we can insert the value 9. So the final shape of the array before the actual insertion happened is going to be like this. 1733242 and there are some other numbers. And now you can overwrite 3 and put any value into there. Okay? So this is b the basic idea uh, behind insertion. Okay. So let's uh, execute that, write that to a program and see how it works. Uh, maybe before that, a uh, few notes. So what do you need to know before inserting an, ele an element? Well, obviously, you need to know the element value. In our example, we, need, uh, uh, we are going to insert 9. And next, uh, you need to know the insertion location. It, it was the third location or the fourth location, okay? So you need to know that. And finally, you need to know the size of the array. Why? Because you want to shift the element, starting to shift the element from the end of your array uh, till the location of insertion. Okay, so uh, given that, we are going to write a, a program to demonstrate this. So, uh, here, sorry, yeah. So now, um, dimension A. 0 to let's say 9 as integer and here I'm going to say define the array okay dimension used equals 0 so for now we are using 0 elements read the array I assume you already know how to do that and here for i equals 0 to let's say 7 okay or maybe six. We need to, uh, yeah. Cons uh, console dot write enter the element mm, string dot uh, wait CSTR i plus one plus Close that, and finally, okay, and then uh, a of i equal console dot read line. Okay, so this returns a string. This is gonna be integer dot parse. Okay, so here we read the array, and next we are going to read. Uh, the element we want to insert. Oh, and by the way, each time we are inserting a value, uh, we can say used plus equal one or used equal used plus one to make it a little bit more clear. If you would like to, you can replace I with used. It will give the same effect, but I'm using that in order to remind you that used is associated with the array, and uh, it's it, you can you can use this variable in order to always keep track of how many elements in the array are being used. So next you need to know what uh, what is the element 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 to insert. So dimension e uh, as integer and then console.write enter the element insert okay and e equal um, console read line so again integer dot parse okay now we got the element what is the location of the insertion okay and in this case dimension um, LOC as integer console dot 
uh, right line or right enter the location of uh, item insertion for example okay you can choose a better message uh, my English is bad anyway console dot read line in this case integer dot parse okay so now we have all the needed information we have our array we know where to insert the element what is the value what's the size of the array so we are going to do uh, the insertion from the example as you remember we shift the last element one cell to the right so here shift the elements okay so basically if you want to shift uh, the elements we said we started from the, r the end of the array move to the empty location in that case we're going to use say this so this means for i equals used uh, minus one because the indexing starts from zero to uh, the location loc and uh, the location is where we want to insert our value step minus one because we are moving backwards all we have to do is a of i plus one equal a of i and what this means if you are at the uh, last element it it, it uh, if i plus one means the last element means move the element before last to the last one okay saying that is a little bit you know awkward so I guess you get it from the presentation uh, anyway so after you do that now you have the empty uh, element in LOC okay so this means insert the element the element now so a of LOC equals E and finally update the count so here used equal used plus one now after update the count updating the count we just need to display the information display the array so console dot right line the array is and now for i equals zero to used minus one console dot right line uh, a of i wait okay and finally I'm gonna put this console dot read line and this is used in order just to keep the display for okay so now we have this and I'm gonna run okay so the first element I'm gonna use normal numbers one two three four five six seven okay the element I'm going to insert is 99 and the location I want it to be in location 4 so if you have a look here you can see uh, yeah so it shift uh, check out the number of elements one two three four five six seven eight now here we enter 7 so we got the number of elements increased and here we got uh, our element now uh, the insertion is uh, after 4 so this means I need to put minus 1 over here uh, right wait I'm sorry da -da 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 -da. okay the problem we are having here is that since indexing starts from zero this is what's what's causing the problem okay so I entered the number uh, without taking that into concentration so now I subtract this and it's gonna work fine so again one two three four five six seven and here 99 I'm gonna use two for example and you can see now this is the second element and this is how you do an insertion now let's test something and try to ruin this code uh, here we used we use the loop from uh, 
the end of the array, we, uh, in order to move the element, we looped from the end of the array uh, downwards to the location of insertion. What happens if you reverse that? Well, <laughs> there will be a bigger problem. So, I'm, I'm gonna do this now. So this is gonna be location and here step. Uh, sorry, used, used minus one. So now I just reversed that. Check what's gonna happen now. Uh, so now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now ninety-nine. And here I'm gonna say two. And as you can see, it copied the element and overwrote all everything that's there and I'm gonna explain to you why this happened so let me put this one the way it was dun, 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 dun. okay so now um, what happens is this um, shall I explain this on PowerPoint maybe I should have created a slide for that but anyway so wait a minute let me take this one for example I'm gonna copy this okay so what we did is that we copied the three three if we want to shift we are going to copy three here right and then copy four here sorry uh, sorry uh, we are copying three here we are copying four here we are copying two here and we are copying the other three here right and this this is the empty value okay so everything works well if you are moving from the end of the array now if we do it the reverse if you want to use this one start from here this means copy three into the next element so what this will do it's gonna overwrite two with the three and the value two is lost forever and replaced with the three and then you are gonna copy this again so the value four is also going to be lost forever and replaced with the three and this will be copied again so this value will also be replaced by the other three and same goes to this one and this is why if you are trying to insert a value always move the elements from the end of the array otherwise you will have overwritten numbers and you will keep wondering what happened so this is one of the common mistakes that many would do okay uh, yeah so I guess this is how uh, this is all you need to know about inserting elements probably will we are going to speak about how to remove an element from the array in the next tutorial I hope you will find this useful if you have questions uh, or suggestions send them to notes at mkadisop.com also check out the website for other tutorials and videos um, also subscribe if you'd like to to keep in touch okay um, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day bye bye